Pharmacology Other CNS medications Opioids are a class of analgesics that are used primarily to relieve moderate to severe pain associated with acute and chronic disorders such as MIs, post-operative pain, or terminal cancer, as well as pulmonary edema, pre-operative sedation, anesthesia, cough suppression, and diarrhea. Cautionary side effects include sedation, respiratory depression, and constipation. Opioid agonists are narcotic analgesics which include morphine or morphine-like drugs such as codeine, Darvon, Demerol, fentanyl, hydrocodone, and methadone. Non-opioid agonists are non-narcotic analgesics that sometimes also have anti-inflammatory and fever-reducing properties. Such drugs include aspirin and non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, or NSAIDSs, such as ibuprofen and acetaminophen or Tylenol. Opioid antagonists act on opioid receptors by blocking the receiving signals from opioids. Naloxone or Narcan is a commonly used opioid antagonist that binds to the opioid receptors with a higher affinity than these opioid agonists but do not activate the receptors. This effectively blocks the receptor, preventing the body from responding to opioids and endorphins. Anesthetics are drugs that cause anesthesia or reversible loss of sensation. They are different than analgesics which relieve pain without the elimination of sensation. Examples range from low-level anesthetics like nitrous oxide or nitronox to higher-level benzodiazepines such as diazepam or Valium and midazolam or Versed. Sedative and anti-anxiety medications are commonly used to decrease anxiety and assist sleep by depressing the CNS system. The two main categories are benzodiazepines and barbiturates. As mentioned a moment ago, examples of benzodiazepines include diazepam and midazolam. Examples of barbiturates include phenobarbital and secanol. Barbiturates are typically less frequently used due to their more intense effect. Psychiatric medications work by increasing the amounts of the CNS neurotransmitters, norepinephrine, dopamine, and serotonin, in patients with psychiatric disorders. Such drugs are broken down into antipsychotics, antidepressants, and antimanics. Antipsychotics are also known as neuroleptics because they affect the nerves. Examples include phenothiazinines, or Thorazine, Seroquel, Respeterol, and Haldol. Depressive illness, or depression, is caused by a decrease of the chemicals or neurotransmitters norepinephrine, dopamine, and serotonin in the brain that are responsible for mood. Antidepressants work by stimulating chemical changes that increase the levels of these neurotransmitters. Different antidepressant medications affect one or more of these neurotransmitters. The three main categories of antidepressants are selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, tricyclic antidepressants, and monoamine oxidase inhibitors, or MAOIs. Selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors block the reuptake of serotonin, which increases the level of serotonin in the brain. Common selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors are Celexa, Lexapro, Prozac, and Zoloft. Similar to selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, tricyclic antidepressants, or TCAs, also block the reuptake of serotonin, but are less specific and also block the reuptake of norepinephrine, resulting in an increase of both neurotransmitters in the brain. Examples of common tricyclic antidepressants include Elevil, Adipin, and Tofranil. MAOIs increase the availability of neurotransmitters by preventing the breakdown of neurotransmitter molecules by inhibiting the activity of monoamine oxidase, which is responsible for breaking down the transmitters. Antimanic drugs are used to treat bipolar disorders. Examples include lithium as well as Tegretol and Depakote which are also used to treat seizure disorders. Anticonvulsants and anti-seizures. The goal of anticonvulsants, often referred to as anti-seizures, is to suppress the rapid and excessive firing of neurons 
that initiate the seizure. Medications used to treat seizures include barbiturates such as phenobarbital, benzodiazepines such as diazepam, and others such as tegretol and depicote. Stimulants. Stimulants is a name given to several groups of drugs that tend to increase alertness and physical activity oftentimes used in treating ADHD. Examples include methylphenidate, also known as Ritalin, and Metadate. Medications that affect the cardiovascular system. Beta blockers are used to decrease the workload of the heart by blocking sympathetic stimulation of the beta receptors on the SA node and myocardial cells. This decreases the force of the contractions and causes a reduction in heart rate. Examples include metoprolol, labetalol, sodalol, and propranolol. Calcium channel blockers work by relaxing smooth muscles to provide vasodilation as well as reduce heart rate and stroke volume of the heart. Examples include dotiazem or cardizem and varipramil. Sodium channel blockers work by impairing conduction of sodium ions through sodium channels used in the treatment of cardiac dysrhythmias. An example of this would be lidocaine. Diuretics control high blood pressure by increasing the rate of urination. Loop diuretics, such as furosemide, also known as Lasix, do this by inhibiting the body's ability to reabsorb sodium at the ascending loop in the kidney. This results in a retention and excretion of water in the urine. Other diuretics include thiazides, such as hydrochlorothiazide, as well as potassium sparring diuretics, such as aldactone. Alpha adrenergic blockers are used to lower blood pressure by dilating peripheral blood vessels, causing a decrease in peripheral vascular resistance. Common examples include Cardura, Minipres, and Flomax. ACE inhibitors, or angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors, are a group of pharmaceuticals that are used primarily in the treatment of hypertension and congestive heart failure. Examples include benzapril hydrochloride, also known as latensin, captopril, also known as capitin, and lisinopril, also known as prinvil or zestril. Angiotensin II receptor antagonists, also known as angiotensin receptor blockers, or ARBs, vasodilate arterioles by blocking the effects of angiotensin II. This enhances the renal excretion of sodium and water. Their main use is in hypertension, kidney damage as a result of diabetes, and congestive heart failure. Examples include Losartan, also known as Kozar, and Valsartan, also known as Diovan. Antiplatelet and anticoagulant drugs. Antiplatelet and anticoagulant drugs are used to prevent clot formation in patients with AFib, pulmonary embolism, as well as provide anticoagulation during hemodialysis, prevent clot formation post-surgery, decrease the risk of MIs in patients with atherosclerosis, as well as decrease the risk of strokes. Examples include heparin and levonox, as well as thrombolytics such as retoplase, altoplase, and streptokinase. Nitrates are used to prevent and relieve chest pain associated with angina, as well as ease the symptoms of congestive heart failure. Nitrates vasodilate blood vessels and improve blood flow, which allows more oxygen-rich blood to reach the heart muscle. This also reduces the workload of the heart by reducing preload. A common example of this is nitroglycerin. Corticosteroids are a class of steroid hormones that are produced in the adrenal cortex. Corticosteroids are involved in a wide range of physiological systems such as stress response, immune response, and the regulation of inflammation, carbohydrate metabolism, protein catabolism, blood electrolyte levels, and behavior. Glucocorticoids, such as cortisol, control carbohydrate, fat, and protein metabolism and are anti-inflammatory by preventing phospholipid release, decreasing the action of eosinophil, and a number of other mechanisms. Synthetic glucocorticoids are commonly used in the treatment of joint pain or inflammation such as arthritis, dermatitis, allergic reactions, and asthma. Examples are hydrocortisone and prednisone. Mineral corticoids such as aldosterone 
control electrolyte and water levels, mainly by promoting sodium retention in the kidney. Brought to you by EMSSuccess.com.